all right guys welcome back you are welcome back once again to today's class and in this class i'll be talking about the lead generation hard now under this particular topic you'll be looking at the overview then we look at um, the major lead generation ads then we look into the setting up of um, a website lead generation ad and the instance from lead generation ad. Now, guys, um, I would like to explain before I even go further. Now, when it comes to Facebook ads, we have um, so many type types of Facebook ads, but the ones that are mostly used and the ones that people are so sure of are first the con sales conversions had followed by the lead generations had then the traffic ads. now this is the lead generation had now what's what does lead generation had to do i would like to explain in a way that you would be able to understand now first off leads or lead let me say leads leads are like people people coming into your business to make inquiries so those are leads we call them leads in marketing they are leads because they are not even yet um your clients they are not yet even a prospect because a lead will later turn to a prospect then a prospect becomes a customer so leads are people that are coming into your business for the first time you understand so now what's the major objective of this particular hard now is for you to be able to get people to contact your business and make inquiry about certain things so that is just what lead generation ad does so if you have anything like a product or you are um, somebody that is into service and you want people to reach out to you like you want people to contact you and make inquiries either for consultation either for bookings or anything lead generation ad is one of the best ads you can run every ad on facebook has its own objective so you should know what you are um going for you should know what you are going for so for this kind of objective now the objective whereby you want people to reach out to your business and um, to make inquiry about what you you have to offer then you should be running a lead generation hard so guys let me quickly explain what i have on my screen here it says the overview now it says leads are prospects that show interest in your business like i said earlier so businesses often find reason to collect their prospects contact details for further follow-up on their interest in a particular product or service so lead generation ad has proven effective in this regard so it is very very effective if you um, run a business whereby you want people to reach out to you this is the kind of ad that you should run you get tons of people contacting your business and making uh, making inquiries concerning what you have to offer them you understand so this is the right type of ad if you know you want people to um, reach out to your business to your company to make inquiries about one or two things so i'll be going further guys so it said it says lead generation ad has proven effective in this regard lead Generation ad is the type of ad you run to collect prospect details in order to follow up on them. So there are some business transactions that will need follow-ups for prospects to fully commit to buying. Now, let me explain this place before I go further. Now, you know, um, not all ads, not all um, advertisements you place on Facebook would be um, a direct purchase advert. You understand? it's not all adverts the way you can sell a physical product or the way you can sell some particular type of physical product it might not apply to other types of physical products or or even um services you understand so now let's say you are somebody that sells um that sells real estate you understand so this kind of ad now is very good for anyone that is into real estate you know you are in, you are in, you are in the um, real estate industry and you have properties for sale this is the kind of ad you should run whereby you put the um, adverts out there people reach out to you to make inquiries concerning the property you put up for sale 
so this is the kind of hard now you can't put a property up for sale and you expect somebody to play to, to pay um via the internet and you get the good or the house delivered to them no it's not possible it, there are some business transactions whereby you have to change the selling environment you understand so you you have to be the one to do the closing yourself you have to be the one to do the closing because this kind of businesses now payments cannot be made over the internet like i uh okay i'm browsing through facebook i stumbled over this um property and I'm, i've ordered for it no it's not possible so for somebody for a realtor now putting out that kind of um products yeah a real estate product putting it up for sale then you should run this kind of ad whereby people a lot of people would reach out to you concerning that kind of um property you have listed they would like to know um some things some questions that they won't be able to ask you um on the facebook platform they reach out to you probably via your whatsapp via your phone call it depends on how you set up the ads which we are eventually going to get there setting up a lead generation ad so it depends on how you put up the ad then they reach out to you you can um you can read you, you can get back to them via um whatsapp you can get back to them via um phone call so it depends on how you want to you you, you put up the ad and how you want to reach out back to them but the most important thing here is for a product like property you can't sell it online you can't payment the payment transaction cannot be done online me as the realtor i have to look for people that are interested in the property they reach out to me then we change the selling environment from online to either physical or um a more close um a, 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 a more close form of selling you understand so it's not going to be the the um the normal over the internet transactions where you you pay and you make so this is the right type of hard for somebody that is into real estate another example i i uh, made use of here is um car for somebody selling cars now you understand you put up and hard for car even if eventually you you are able to find somebody that is interested in it the person can never pay over the internet or on the facebook platform the person would rather drop his or her contacts or the person would reach out to you which you guys would talk about the business and if you you are able to come into conclusion then you find a way of meeting one another and you sort it out you close the deal so this generation is best best for all this kind of um businesses you understand and even consultation business um booking and all of those lead generation it's a very good of um, is a very good type of ad for such business so let me quickly read for the guys i don't even think i need to read further more but let me just read further so as i was saying guys so um let me quickly read further it says there are some business transactions that will need follow-ups for prospects to fully commit to buying not all products or service can be paid for can be paid for over the internet via facebook card so some will need you to change the sales environment or the selling environment where the prospect indicates in indicates interest drops contact info then you reach out as a business to confirm their interest in whatever it is you have to offer them so that is one of the major objective of lead generation hard now where i'm going into the types of lead generation ads now basically we have asserts the time i'm recording this course now we have six types of lead generation ads on on the facebook platform we have the um websites we have instant forms we have messenger we have instant forms and messenger we have calls and we have app but the major ones the major ones that are proven um effective that have proven effective is the website's lead generation ad and the instance forms lead generation ad so i'll be explaining just this to the website and the instance form they are just simple concepts and i'm very sure you would grab them it says here here we'll be focusing on just the two like i said earlier which are the major lead generation ads commonly used and they are both proven effective 
so now this is the lead generation now before i go further let me quickly explain what both are now the website lead generation heart goes like this you let's say you have something for sale like a property and you have a landing page dedicated for the property and if not a landing page maybe your um company's websites where people would be able to um um fill out a form or where they'll be able to impute their contact details at least to show interest if they are interested in the product they put out their they, they drop their contact details probably with comments or message then you'll be able to um save through their contacts look through their messages and get back to them so now what happens here is you you run the hard and you send traffic you send people to your website or a particular landing page so the 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 they are leads those people are leads they are they are likely um how do i want to put them they are like prospects that are likely to patronize your business so we call them leads so what you now do in this kind of um lead generation ad is you set up your website and it's the website lead generation ad requires you to um install a pixel or create a pixel and set up events just like the sales conversion hard because the the buttons you have on your websites on your um, landing page they are going to be tracked you you, are, you have to track track the buttons as lead um events i hope you guys get that so the website would have um like a space for website visitors to fill out their details and it will have a submit button or probably it might from that website it might take them to another place where like for example now you might design you might design the landing page in, in such a way that once they land on it that's the leads the prospects once they land on the um, landing page let's say you are selling a property and they were able to go through what you have on the landing page the properties they've seen several pictures the features of of the property and at the bottom of the page you can have something like a click here to chat on whatsapp so that kind of button now will be tracked as a lead event so for you to be able to run a website lead generation ad you have to install pixel on your website and you have to create events it is very very important because these traffics you are sending them to your website or a particular page of your website now let's talk about the instant forms lead generation ad now the major difference here is while you are sending people to your website with the website lead generation ad the instant forms you are sending nobody to your website the forms will be filled on the facebook platform you understand so the forms like that they click on it in fact once they show interest in your ad and they click on it to start filling their details facebook itself would prefill some of the um some of the um i don't want to put it the input field for example facebook would automatically fill in the person's email the phone number and the name because they are they already have that data you are a facebook user you probably opened your facebook account with your email your phone number and your name so this kind of form now facebook has done it in such a way that you'll be able to create the form has been um pre-designed by facebook so what what you just have to do is you make little editing like you have your company name you had the product you want to sell you had some other things so the form has been pre-designed by facebook you just have to do little touchings so rather than people going to your website they fill out the forms on the facebook platform and some people prefer to use this um kind of late generation hard because they believe people are so impatient to um see your landing page load your website load before they, they could take the necessary action so some people believe the instant forms lead generation um format is is good and it saves time since the user will not have any reason to leave the facebook platform for your website so that is just the major difference and they are both proven to be effective if you have anything to do with lead generation maybe you need prospect for your business whatever it is that you are doing if your business is not something you can just list via facebook ad where people would um where people would place another for it then lead generation is a very good and it's it's a recommended ad for you to run 
people would surely reach out to you they reach out to you they want to know more know more about the product you are selling either it's real estate car or whatever it is they want to know more about the service so it's now your duty as a business to close them up you have to close them up you close them in terms of selling so that is just it guys so now guys i'll quickly be working us through how to set up a website lead generation hard so i'll be jumping into my browser right now to show us how the process would go so stick around guys so guys we are back and i want to believe you you are able to navigate your way down to your hearts manager i want to believe i'm not talking to novice here and um like i said earlier for you to be able to run a website lead gen hard you need to install pixel on your website and you have to create events particularly lead events you have to track certain buttons as lead events so um i want to be very sure that whosoever it is that is watching the, this video right now knows how to set up events and knows how to create or install pixel on a website we already have a video on that if you, you you are not able to do that you can just fall back to the video it's still the same process you should be able to install your pixel on your um install pixel on your facebook pixel particularly you should be able to install facebook pixel on your website then you should be able to track certain buttons on your website as a lead event or as lead events so you can go back to the video and watch how to um install a pixel and set up events so now guys this is um my ads manager environment and i'll be working us through how to create a website lead generation ad the first thing you want to do from this junction now is to come click on create like this now you can see different campaign objective like i said in one of my previous videos this is the new facebook ads manager interface this is the new interface so we have the awareness the traffic the engagement the leads the app promotion the sales so we are our business for today is leads we are in for the leads um, type of facebook ad. so you just click on it this way then you scroll down you click on continue now guys um as we all know every hard you're about to set up would always consist of three levels that's the campaign level the hard set level and the hard level the campaign level is where you select what you want to achieve with your adverts the ad set level is where you set your heart it's like advertising settings is where you impute the demography the location and several other things that has to do with the hard settings the hard level itself is where you um where, where we deal with art creatives copywriting the pictures or the videos you want to use the headline and so many other things like that so those are the three levels of any hard you want to run using the facebook ads manager interface so now let's continue now campaign name you can just let me say real let me say property lead campaign you can add your date to it let me say may may 12 that is it you have nothing else to do on this page just come here and click on next it takes us to the hard set level we are the hard set level guys 
now let's rename this to property as well property then we add the dates May 12 property dates add sets okay now this is the conversion location it has to be the website now it has been clicked already it has been picked now you scroll down to pixel as you can see choose an event you have to choose an event it has to be a lead event it's going to be a lead event so you scroll down you come to the budget level and I want to believe you guys know how to track your buttons because you have to track your buttons and most importantly not just track you have to fire the events and make it look as if people are already clicking on this particular button you tracked you fire it you click on the button several times until it shows active from your um, events manager environment you should be able to locate it there and you should be able to use the test events tab to um, to access if the button is active and from your dashboard or overview you should be able to access it there if the button is re uh, is is active and if the button button has been fired very well you should see active so that is when you should proceed with publishing your hard until you see active because it might result in you wasting money so you come down to the budget level here the daily budget i would recommend between three thousand and five thousand but in this case i'll be using five thousand let me say five thousand one two three five thousand then the start dates you select your start dates the time you can schedule it then i don't usually use the end dates because i might come back to i might even want to run the hard for like many years so i just keep funding my account and the hard keeps running I turn it off whenever I want to turn it off. I turn it on whenever I want to turn it on. Then it keeps running. That is why you see like 27 weeks ago on some um, Facebook hearts. If you once you, uh, once you put the hand dates and the advert eventually finishes, you won't be able to run it again. It has gone. You have to set up another hard. So I don't usually advise it. But if you think it's something that will work for you, you can go ahead and choose your hand dates. So the daily budget five thousand. So once I publish this kind of hard now, all I have to do is keep funding the um accounts at least a minimum of five thousand so until I'm satisfied. Then I have to turn off the hard. So if you fund your account more than the amount you wish to spend, the the hard will just keep running. You have to monitor it. So you scroll down this way. Scroll down. We are the audience level where you select your targetings from location to gender to age and to detailed targeting. Now the location is going to be it depends on your product. It depends on your products. If it's something that's um that's if it's something you think people or a wide number of people should know about then you can use a larger location but if you want to make it more specific then you choose specific locations so in this case i'll be leaving it at nigeria but first click on this edit like this you change it from people living in or recently in this location you change it to people living in this location you want people only people within that location you are selecting to see the adverts so I'll be leaving it as Nigeria, but if you wish to change it, let me say I have a property I want to sell around Lagos. In fact, the whole of Nigeria is good. But if you have, if you think, um, if you think picking a specific location would be good for your heart or would be good for the kind of service you run, then please and uh, please be specific with your um location targeting. But in this case, I'll be leaving it as Nigeria. Then the age, it has to be working class age between 23 to at least 40, 45, 
Then did it to forty five. Okay, now the gender it has to be all gender. Detail targeting. Then you know the kind of people you want to target for your product or for your service. So in this I'll just pick like three targeting for the real estate. I know very well of um I targeting like um let me say luxury let me say luxury resorts yes people that love luxury resorts let me see um high networks individual yeah high network individuals let me see property investments property real property exactly so it depends on whatever it is you are selling so make sure you you've done your own work your customer avatar you should know who you are targeting in your business you should know who your market is targeting who your heart should be um, running after now you scroll down if you wish to save the audience you can just click on this button and save it now we are the placement level so what the placement does is the advantage plus placement would place your ad on every platform of Facebook and other other um, partners that they have like for example let me click on the manual so I can show you although the manual is recommended if you think you don't want your ad to show it on certain platforms so as you can see you can have it on Facebook you can have it on Instagram audience network then messenger it depends on what you want to achieve with your ad you can decide to remove the audience network as for me I remove audience network and messenger so if I want the ad to appear on Instagram, I'll have to leave it checked. But if only on Facebook, then I have to uncheck Instagram like this. Yeah, it has been unchecked. So even at that, we are not done. There are certain places on Facebook we don't want the ad to show. It depends on your own objective anyways. So as for me, I might not want it to show so like all these ticked ones now there are places on facebook where your heart would be showing so if you think you don't want your heart to show on certain places you can remove it especially this in article remove in article just remove it let's say remove in article remove searches Remove ads on Facebook reels. Remove these ones. We are removing this one as well. Reels, Facebook stories. No, we don't want Facebook reels. We only want it to show on Facebook news feed. Group, Facebook group feeds. We have to remove it as well. So Facebook groups feed, we don't want it there. We don't want it there. Facebook right column, yes, we want it there. Video feeds, it depends. If the if your hard creative is a video, then you can leave this video feeds. But if you think you don't need it, you can just remove it. Marketplace, no, we don't want marketplace. Facebook feeds, that's certain. So now we are leaving the Facebook feeds and the Facebook right column. So once you are done like that, you scroll down. So I hope you guys get this particular side, this particular level. That's the placement level. So if you had chosen the advantage plus placements, all these platforms would be checked. So your heart will be spread across all these platforms. 
so it depends on what you want to achieve if you think you don't want the heart to show on instagram then you remove it and several other things several other platforms so whichever if you don't want the ad to show on facebook or, or you want to direct it only to instagram then you uncheck facebook and check instagram and if you want it to show in particular places on instagram then you do it just the way i did it the other time so that is that about that you scroll down you scroll down and for your heart to run on instagram you don't necessarily need to have an instagram page there's a way facebook does it if you have a page on facebook and you are running your heart to instagram facebook would create a dummy instagram account that will advertise your product on instagram for you it's it's a dummy instagram account it's not a real a real instagram account so let's proceed guys you scroll down you scroll down that's all that's all then we are going to the hard level we are done with the campaign level we are done with the asset level now we are going to the hard level you can either click on the new lead ad like this or you click on next but i'll be going through this route because i might click on this next now and i might mistakenly click on it again and the ad publishes itself so i prefer to go through this route so we are the hard level now so let's rename it as usual so you might be prompted to select your own page make sure you select the right page for the adverts you need a page to run your ad i think you should know that by now then you scroll down create an ad yes all these ones are good you scroll down your hard creative which is either your image or your video so it depends on which um creative you want to use let me see if i have something i can add from here we can pick any of these pictures it depends on your on what you are promoting but this is just an example i'll be picking this bag then i'll click on next this way So if you can remember these are the two placement i chose facebook news feeds and the right column so it's giving me an example of how it's going to look like when i eventually publish the ad so say next let's click on done this way done So once you are done selecting the the media you scroll down then this is where you impute your primary text you impute whatever it is you want to use to attract them so all these um areas now we've actually touched down on that a lot so we'll be talking about we'll be dwelling we won't be dwelling much on primary text headline and um description so the only thing you just this is the um the copy level of your hard creative where you put an enticing copy something that would make them respond to your heart so the, the headline is something they see like this facebook login sign is something so you impute the headline here then this is description of the heart you can just put um a short description about what you have to offer them about the property like um the property is available so 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 then the headline could be three bedroom flat property at lecky the primary text would contain the features of the um, property and the benefit of getting it in that kind of location so at least to entice them to click on the hard and um drop their contact contact info so that is that about it call to action has to be learn more learn more or whatever i think whatever you think it's it's going to be good for for your business so the destination is going to be website then you impute the particular landing page or your website url here you input it here now you scroll down call extension yeah 
I would suggest you leave it so they can be able to reach out to you via call. Now the language you actually don't have anything to do anymore here. Yes, that is just that. So you can just go back again from the campaign level and look through everything. Make sure you've done the writing before you hit the publish button. Because once you hit the publish button, then the hard disk will be will be in review for some minutes. Then once it's approved, then it's it's live. It's live. Just make sure you follow the their terms and advertising guidelines whatever it is make sure you read you go through their ad policy and make sure you're not violating any of their law any of their um, advertising policies because if you do your account is at risk so like I said just go over everything again and make sure you've done the right thing review it then if you are if you confirm that everything is good then you can hit the publish button then your ad will be in review then once it has been revealed you'll be notified that your heart is now live for people to see and you start getting leads so that is basically the simple way to set up your website lead generation ad